Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. I have an organization video as you can see from the title below. I'm going to be organizing this closet right behind me. Um, it's actually my clothing closet. That's where I store all my clothes, all my shoes and everything like that. But the really cool thing about this closet is that it's actually a broom closet. That is where you would normally store like your vacuum cleaner and like your old dish towels that you kind of don't use anymore. You kind of just throw them in the closet. But I store my clothes in there because that's what I do. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video, but before we get started, if this is your first time here, my name is Talisa. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I like to make videos almost every week, and if you have not seen the other ones, go check them out. I'm going to link them somewhere where you put the links. That's what I'm going to do. So let's get started. For size reference, this is me inside of my closet, and this is what I'll be working with today. So at the very top of the closet, I have a basket of lounging clothes and pajamas. I just keep everything in that one basket that I use to wear around the house. And next to it, I have a sewing machine that my mom got me for my Christmas present. And I kind of have an issue keeping it up there because it does get hit by the basket when I do try to take the clothes down. So I need to find a better place for that. So right below the basket and the sewing machine, I have the rest of my clothes. Everything that I have is hanging on some of the velvet slimline hangers or the black clip hangers that I use for my skirts and my shorts. Down at the bottom of the closet, I keep all of my shoes. I don't really have an organization system for my shoes, so I just line them up here at the bottom and it doesn't really work, so I'm going to find something new for them. At the very, very back of my closet, I have a box and inside the box, I keep my underclothes. And at the time that I put this closet together, it sounded like a good idea to keep them there, but it's extremely hard to reach these on a regular basis, so I need a new space for them. So that's what's going on with my itty bitty closet. Let's see what I can do with this tiny space. I started by taking down my sewing machine and putting it in my linen closet, which is much safer. Went ahead and took down the basket off the top with my loungewear in it, and then I also took down all of the hanging clothes that I have. I took out the bucket with my scarves and underclothes in it, and then I emptied the rest of the closet. When I initially moved into this closet, I put up some removable wallpaper, but it didn't turn out to look as good as I'd hoped, so I took that down too. Since everything's out of the closet, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and wipe everything down and vacuum the floors so it's nice and clean when I put all my clothes back in. This is the hanging organizer I'll be using and I got it from Dollar General. I'll put it in the links below. I had a little problem with the velcro attachment so I decided to just cut a little split at the top and hang it on the other side. After that I started sorting through the clothes I had hanging just to pull out things that weren't supposed to be hanging and to donate the things that I didn't want. Because I have limited space I decided to take out the suit and hang it on the back of my bedroom door to give my closet more room. Even though I have a pretty tiny closet, it still took me quite a while to go through everything at one time. After that, I went through the basket that I had at the top of the closet and I got rid of some of the things that I don't need anymore. Then I went ahead and did the same thing with my underclothes and scarf bucket. After that, I was left with all of the clothes that I needed to hang up or put away. I'm using these really small baskets that I got from the Dollar General as well. I decided to use this first one to put in all of my exercise and lounge clothes. In the second basket, I'm putting in all of my pajamas. 
Off camera, I used the third small basket to put all of my underclothes. I reused the big basket that I had at the top of the closet to put some of the bulky items I have and the clothes that I don't wear on a regular basis. I also picked up two stacking shelves to put my shoes in. I realized that I needed to move the last shelf of the organizer so my shoes would fit, so I just clipped it up with some binder clips that I got from Target. In the first basket, I decided to put some of the shoes that I wear, but not all of the time. In the top basket, I put the wedges and heels that I have so they don't get squished. Next, I needed to put my boots somewhere, so I decided to put them in the back corner. But before I did, I wanted to put some craft paper in them so they stand straight up. It turns out I have more space than I thought, so I could put the rest of the shoes that I wear on a regular basis up at the front, and I'll have easy access to them. I decided to then hang everything back up in my closet, starting with my dresses, then I went on to my tops, and then my skirts. I put the big basket back at the top of my closet, but now it has clothes that I won't be reaching for on a regular basis. And in the small bucket, I have my socks. On the first shelf, I have my underclothes, and on the second, I put my jackets. The third shelf has all of my pajamas, and on the fourth, I put all of my pants and shorts. The last shelf has my lounge and workout clothes. So there you have it guys. That is my itty bitty teeny tiny closet. Um, I organized it in a pretty functional way. I think um, it's a lot easier for me to get in and out of my closet now and pull things out without having everything topple on my head almost every morning. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it and I can make other videos like this for you. Um, before you go though, leave me a comment below letting me know what kinds of organization videos you like to watch and I will see you in my next video. Bye!